everyone, and welcome back. Today is probably going to be a little bit of a short recording, but I wanted to try something. Um, let me catch you up to speed. I've, I've built a couple more forges. I mean, obviously, it's not one here, it's four. Made a feeding trough. Also, I was test. I dropped the uh, the taming effect or taming rate down, and to test it, there was a pteranodon just hanging around the area. Well, I think it was 110 or 115. So, I tamed it. But my theory is, I'm going to. I created a little little pen to I call it a taming pen. Just to test a, test an idea, but I did. Let's see. I'm thinking I since I want some utility dinos like a uh, Castroids, Dodicarus, and Ankylo. I'm going to fly over to what I call Herbivore Island over here and see if I can pick up an Ankylosaurus and bring it back here and tame it. Now to do this you have to have in the settings which I don't think I can bring up um, no, it won't let me do it here. Hmm. There's a flyer a setting here is like flyer carry you have to have enabled in order for that to allow an Argentavius to pick up a wild dinosaur. But let's go and see what we can do. Um, points available. I don't need that. Uh, um, let's go for stamina because you're going to be flying quite a distance. All right. Still haven't quite decided on a name yet. And so if you guys have any ideas, tips, or a name, uh, drop them in the comments below. It'd be great. Also, uh, if you like the video, please smash the like button. Leave a comment. It greatly helps the algorithm as well as any comments. You know, what you like, what you didn't like, help out greatly. And if you're new to the channel, please uh, consider hitting subscribe and get notified. To get notified. Oh, English. Talk. Here we go. Try again. And <laughs> get notifications on any videos I put out. If you'd like to see more, please uh, let me know. But we'll see what we can find out. Um, I'm also seriously considering, I know I'd said before, I'm probably not going to do any mods, but I'm really considering on using the super supply glass because it is so handy. It gives you so much information. Like, um, I don't have it enabled and I haven't down, I, I've got it downloaded because I was toying around with it, but I'm not on this single player session. But the one thing it does show you is the torpidity, the health of whatever it's targeting, and you can have it active at all times. So I would, it's tempting, but if you could just let me know in the comments. And I'm gonna land here real quick and get some stamina back, but I wanted to show you something also. Before, I would have to hold down H to get the extended HUD to show up. Well, if you go into your settings before you load into single player or even into, well, a dedicated server, some servers have the settings set, so you can't do this anyway. But you toggle extended HUD, hub, uh, HUD options. And that allows you to press H to toggle it off. Press H to toggle it back on again. Why that's handy, I don't know. I'm probably just 
just me that likes to see, you know, what temperature it is and what time of day. Also, up on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, you see the numbers for the health of the RG, the stamina, the actual food level. Just at a glance, what number, you know, what number instead of just a symbol, maybe it's half health, well, it, will, it gives you a number. Useful? Maybe not to some, but to me it is. But, let's see... Asteroids would be great. Um, are there any here? Um, let's take a see what we can find. Um, I'm not seeing any right off the top of my... Oh, wait, wait, no, that's not it. Um, no. Alright, so let's go and see what we can find over on Herbivore Island. I'm, like I said, I, that's what I know it as. I'm not completely sure what the real name of the island is. But once we get there, in the top left of the screen, right now we're in the southern islands. Once we get there, it'll say the name, so hopefully I'll remember to point it out. But, like I said, I, I know it as Herbivore Island, so we'll see. Ah, right. I'm really tempted to go back up where I got this Argentavis and see, well, one, if I can find a higher level Argentavis. But at the same time, since my old trap worked, can ooh, that's interesting. All of a sudden, the train loaded in. Let's see if I can trap one of those Allosauruses. Probably not going to work. Probably going to die a lot. But um, let me know what you think. Do you think it'll work? Um, I'm hoping it does, but I have not confident at the same time I still do need to build the other two trap or the other trap that I mentioned in the previous video which I gathered the materials but didn't bother to build it it just yeah good memory just short as well as the raft a uh, raft taming pen type thing. It, the design is looks amazing. It's interesting. I'm tempted to make it, make another raft just to just to make it up. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping to maybe make that in a future episode as well. I do want to finish the base, but I'm not 100% sure on that circular design. Well, it's not really circular, but a little bit, kind of, sort of roundabout. But nothing seems to match up building away from that unless you somehow manage to incorporate a whole bunch of designs. I'm, I'm working on it, but I may completely change it, so we'll see. Okay, so if I land here, it says wilderness. Hmm. I'm impressed, I remembered. Oh, my goodness. I must have stayed at the Holiday Inn Express. Yeah, no, not, not really. Why does it say wilderness? Because this really isn't this wilderness. Oh, well. I'll call it Herbivore Island. Um, hmm. Should have let my stamina build up a little bit more. Ooh, and baby stegos. Um, uh, baby triceratops. Uh, hmm. I know they have a chance to spawn here.
Yes, now, like I said before, it's not a guaranteed spawn, but I was hoping. Hopeful. Oh, well, hmm. It's not looking good, is it? Oh, wow. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. Triceratops. All kinds of babies, just not the ones I'm looking for. Let's go check out the outside of the island. Uh, another Fiomia. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Stegosaurus, Fiomia. Bronto. Oh, wait, 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 what do we got here? Awesome. What level are you? Oh, level 10. You know what? You're an Ankylo, so you'll be a good test. Yes, a higher level would be great, but I'm not going to be choosy right now. Let's go and see if I can pick you up. Oh my goodness, I can. Cool. Alright, let's go back to base and see what... I'm not great at dropping these things in, so this ought to take a few times. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure... If I'm gonna have... I'm definitely not gonna have enough stamina to make it all the way back, so I'm gonna have to land a couple times, maybe. And regen reduce stamina, but uh, now if you don't have fly uh, flyer carry on, then you're gonna have to tame it where you're at, and then you can pick it up. Or um, drag it on to get yeah, and carry it back on the on the RG, or if you have your raft, then you just get it onto the raft. I'm really curious to try something else I've heard about, but I'm not sure if it truly works. And I've heard like the like the Rexes, the Allosaurs, any some of the larger dinosaurs that you normally can't carry. I'm wondering, or I've read that if they're if they're accompanied by a baby. And you say you take out the mama or the papa. Then theoretically, you can carry the baby until it grows into adolescence or juvenile. And then it becomes too heavy to carry. But I have no confirmation on this. But if you can carry a baby, like a baby Rex, that might be an option. I mean, I know you're probably saying, well, why can't you just pick up a baby and carry it away? I've not tested that, but I've heard also, read also that if you take a baby away from the parent, it just teleports back to him anyway. So that isn't going to work, but I'm tempted to test it. Really tempted. Probably should have done it back there with one of the Stegos just to test it out. Ooh, it's an interesting color. Also, the other additional dinosaurs like the Brachiosaurus and the... Um, oh my goodness, I kept drawing a blank on the names, but... Some of the new dinosaurs that they 
have in the mods what your thoughts on uh, maybe pulling those down from the map as well I'm not interested in bringing over the ones from Arc Evolved at all like the early mods I've seen on a few videos who was it? I think a loaded crisis displayed them where you could bring in some of the older the early previews for some of the other dinosaurs like the uh, Brock Drake the uh, uh, Maywing, the Magnamar. I'm just not interested in bringing those out until those actually show up in in the maps that they belong to. It's just I don't think a uh, not a Phoenix, but um, a Griffin belongs on the island. Not yet, at least. Maybe when it's introduced, then maybe bring them over. But no, I. I'm, I just kind of want to play the game as it's intended. And I'd love to tame a uh, Quetzal, but solo taming on those is a little challenging. I've only done it once on a dedicated server, and to do it, and then it was a little interesting as well. I used a, um, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank here. Not a Tyrannodon. Tapahara. And got in the second seat. And directed the Tapahara to fly. Well, one, to get it off the ground was interesting, but then directed it to either attack, and then once you get close, set it to passive so it doesn't attack. Or you point to a location in the air to have it fly to, but I'm not sure if those functions will still work. Or if you can even remotely fly a top of horror from the backseat. I'm not sure. Not sure, not sure at all. There, I, I'm, I'm guessing not. So I'm, I may look, I'm not, yeah. Probably won't end up with a Quetzal. Which is kind of disappointing because, well, yeah, I guess it's cheese in the game. You can pick up the, uh, I'm not sure if you can pick up the Therizinosaur. I think you can with the Quetzal as well as the uh, um, Megatheriums to, well, the Megatheriums are great for the Broodmother because they go into the Bug Rage and do more damage. I think they take less damage too. I'm not 100% sure on that. It's been a little while since I've played Evolvel, Survival Evolved. Wow. I'm all sorts of tongue tied today. Uh, anyway, let's, hopefully we'll get this back to this back to base. We're only a little ways to go. Get him back and. Oh wow. Okay, maybe I can actually pick it up this time. There we go. That burns a lot of stamina picking it up though. Oof. I should be able to make it across this little, little waterway. Yeah, my Pteranodon, I just named it Taxi for lack of better, or lack of anything other than better to call it, but it was hanging around and since I dropped the the taming, because I, I honestly don't think you should be able to tame it for just putting one piece of meat in this inventory. I still think it may be a little bit high, but for the sake of the playthrough, I might leave it. I dropped it to uh, taming of five, whereas the Pteranodon took, I think, three or four feedings. All right, let's see what happens. Drop. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this is probably cheesing it. Should have tamed it where it was, but... I honestly can't imagine... Going from all the way over there to all the way up back here with just... Um, riding it, so it could take a while. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
And the other thing I wonder on is... I don't think I adjusted any of the settings for how much torpidity they, they gain. Or how much, yeah. So with the super spyglass, you can see... Oh. And again, it's a level 10, so only took two shots? Three shots? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Short memory. Okay, so level 10. Um, let's see, what can we go we got? I don't have any kibble, because, well, I don't have any eggs other than two dodo eggs. But let's take out a stack of major berries. And level 10, hopefully it's not one. Maybe it'll eat a couple times. Not sure. Let's put two in its inventory for right now and see what happens. Hold H to show more. All right, let's see. Oh, it's eating once, 33%. So I'm going to guess it's going to eat four times. Okay. I don't think I have a saddle made for it. Do I even have that unlocked? Let's find out. Oh, Kylo? Oh, I do have it unlocked. Good. Uh, where do I make it at now? I don't think I unlocked Arena, so that part just confusing me. Okay, Saddles, Dodecris, and Kylo. So I need uh oh hide. I don't think I have enough hide. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, and I hit up another loot drop. This one was a white one with rings, but it gave me an ascendant. Carbonary saddle. Carbon enemy. The turtle. I, I, I the, the little drops are overpowered. As I, 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 I just, yeah. Okay, I do not have enough. Well, or hide. Okay, that's good to know. So we're gonna need berries. Uh, for now, I'll just go heavy metal. Okay, so we can do berries. I'll put these in the feeding trough. Okay, alright, yes. Following me? No. How about we just... Oh, I wish I had a saddle for you. You should be in range of the feeding trough. How about you come here? I know if I get you to this side of the taming pen, you'll be at least close enough so you can eat. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so we have an Ankylo. I do want a Dodecris and a Castroids. But for right now, I think that'll take care of it all. I mean, let's see what we got here. Oops, not me. Um, oh, I know what I can do. 
Yeah, yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. Take it up. say perfect but all right so we've got our Enkylo mission solved mission accomplished anyway like I said this could be a short video and so if you like the video please smash the like button leave some comments uh, if you're new here again like I said uh, please consider hit, hitting subscribe and you'll be notified of any upcoming videos this I uh, you guys are awesome thank you for joining me today and I'll catch you later bye everybody